Washington police community is mourning the death of one of their own after a horrific attack earlier this week. 41-year-old veteran Sergeant Harold Preston was shot and sadly killed Tuesday while responding to a domestic violence call. Now, ICE says his accused killer in the U.S. illegally, Elmer Manzano, a convicted criminal from El Salvador, could face the death penalty as he's charged with capital murder. Houston Police Chief Art Ace of Acevedo joins us right now uh, with more. Chief, terrible loss for you and everyone at the department. Can you give us an idea what took place? Well, yes, we uh, we had been out to that location to investigate some uh, potential issues with the domestic violence a couple times before, uh, but nothing had risen to a level of uh, arrestable offense. And on the mor a Tuesday morning, uh, Sergeant Preston was at the scene with a couple of other officers when uh, to help the, the wife and the 14-year-old son help them uh, get cooperation from the uh, suspect to, to move out. She had had enough, and sadly, at one point, uh, uh, the 14-year-old the boy opened the door, unlocked it with the key, uh, and as the door opens, our officers are outside. Uh, he says, oh, my God, he's got a gun. He starts shooting, struck his own son with gunfire, uh, struck uh, Officer Courtney Waller uh, in the arm with a gunfire, uh, and sadly, he struck Sergeant Preston. Uh, Sergeant Preston was able to respond and return fire. Uh, he fired one round, actually struck him in the in the abdomen, and uh, suffice it to say, uh, obviously, we're here because, tragically, he died. Uh, died a hero. Uh, he lived a great life. Uh, he was a great son, a great cop, uh, but above all else, he was a great human being, and we're going to miss him greatly. Unbelievable, and it shows you the nature of your job. Uh, domestic dispute, you've been there before, you think you know what you're getting into, but my goodness, you show up domestic dispute. That's what people are saying uh, that law enforcement has to do now, show up to domestic disputes with therapists and psychologists. How would that have gone? You know, uh, we, we, do, uh, we use a multidisciplinary response with our CERT teams, our crisis intervention response teams. It actually has uh, healthcare professionals with us, but when it comes to domestic violence where we think that there may be uh, there may be someone that's armed or there's someone that is armed, uh, we don't put them in harm's way. Domestic violence calls are some of the most dangerous. Right. We lost Sergeant uh, Brewster, Christopher Brewster, about uh, two, two years ago on December uh, 7th, and uh, he was gunned down by uh, a man that's a coward. Let's face it, men that abuse their wives, abuse their children are cowards, and uh, cowards uh, are dangerous uh, because and, they have no respect for the sanctity of life, uh, let alone their own family. And this guy doesn't even belong here. And look at his rap sheet. Unlawful carrying a uh, charge with unlawful carrying a, a firearm in 94. In 2000, two separate assault charges. In 2001, felony assault and causing bodily harm to a family member. In 2002, evading arrest with a motor vehicle. How does he stay here in 2020? This was a time bomb, time bomb ready to blow, and we knew about it 20 years ago. You know, uh, one of the things that we talk about as police chiefs with our partners at DHS is that uh, both the uh, local law enforcement and our federal partners have uh, very limited resources. And so we've always uh, really encouraged our partners and worked with our partners, especially HSI, Homeland Security Investigations, to try to focus our limited resources on people that are violent, on undocumented immigrants that are violent, uh, because at the end of the day, our number one priority has to be the, the, the sanctity of life, the, uh, which means the, the protection of the American people uh, from uh, violence and, and, and including uh, other undocumented immigrants that are uh, those that are just here to work. Uh, sadly, uh, disproportionately, they're impacted the most by uh, undocumented immigrants uh, because that's who they victimize, knowing that they'd be afraid to come forward. And that was the case here because the victim, uh, she was undocumented and uh, he kept threatening her that uh, he was going to make sure that she got deported if she came yeah. forward. And uh, fortunately, she finally did come forward and uh, no one else was uh, no one else was killed other than Sergeant right. Preston, who who uh, did his job to the very, very end. I'm not a lawyer, but uh, you do one of these things, you should be gone forever. How's the, uh, and real quick, uh, Chief, how, how's the other officer doing? He is, uh, he, he's hurting. Uh, he's hurting psychologically, emotionally. Uh, he know he lost his sergeant and uh, he had uh, surgery, one surgery already. He's gonna have another one today. Wow. Uh, but we've been visiting with him and uh, we're, t we're, we're gonna be there for him and his family. And, and we're gonna celebrate wow. the life of Sergeant Harold Preston that not many other people gotcha. will, will say his name, but we will. We'll say his name, we'll engrave his name, we'll celebrate his life. Right. We'll make sure that his 20, uh, 20, uh, uh, three year old daughter knows that, uh, that her, her daddy uh, died a hero and he will be remembered as a hero and never forgotten. His blue and black lives matter, uh, Chief. Thanks so much.